¡Ay! Nada match. There is one level, there is one level in New York that I will be switching off of Hellraiser, and we'll explain why when we get to it. Also, we should also note that we are both recording our POVs, so if you want to watch both of us and see what we're both doing at the same time, we have it. Yeah, basically it goes descent. It's basically descent, descent two, descent three, descent DLC. Uh, <gasps> all right. Uh, if you're wondering why I gasped, I uh, we got an amazing gun that we are gonna use. Uh, okay, cool. Actually, I'm gonna use. I got a good weapon, yet I can't aim for shit. <laughs> yep. So the reason why we say the weapon I have is good, it was added with the most recent DLC. I'm just going to kill that lurker real quick, and we'll explain special zombies soon. But it was added with the most recent DLC, and basically, it is a handheld scout rifle grenade launcher. Uh, we got a rocket back here. By the sandbags. Uh, we have an auto up here as well. So yeah, basically, uh, I'm gonna go down there and watch the auto turret, because the auto turret is gonna run out of ammo and I need to refill it. Also, uh, we also have to take in mind that there are, uh, special zombies and other zombies that can spawn behind us. They are basically part of the horde, and if they don't kill them, uh, the horde, the, this will not, uh, this will not progress until they're dead. Uh, you just got... I did not know that was possible. I didn't think you could die from him. You learn something new every day. <laughs> Alright. I have to run back and get a uh, ammo for my advanced combat weapon. That was a 306. Yeah. <clears throat> So basically, that was a swarm. We killed all the special zombies. I think it's uh, about time we explain the special zombies. So there's a couple of them. It's like Left 4 Dead if you ever played it, but if not, we have the Lurker, which is uh, a zombie that'll hide, and then he'll jump you. He's almost impossible to avoid unless you kill him really fast. There is the Bull, which will just... Yeah, there is the Bull, which is really armored and will charge you. There is the Gas Bag that will basically produce gas on uh, when he's killed, and... It's kind of annoying if he kills you on a turret, or if you kill him on a turret. 
Yeah, and then there is the Infector. I just got Lurked, as you can see. The bots are kind of useless. Yeah. So basically, this... Yeah. Oh. You're gonna love why mine's terrible. So this room is terrible because there are special zombie spawns all over the place, and I can run through one way. I can run through this. I can run through. And then I can get my power, my uh, supply crate. But then when I come back, there's probably gonna be a special zombie spawn in a certain room. Uh. Which is really annoying. Uh, fuck it. I'm gonna wait till you get back with the uh, supply crate. No, we only have three. I got one, but I was gonna wait for a better door. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to go all the way back to the, uh, to the other spot, because if I get lurked or if I get bulled or anything over there, I would, like, the bots would have to come and save me, because Lollipop would be busy doing his thing, and yada yada yada. I don't want the bots to come save me, because they're useless. Yeah. It's okay. It was a six twelve descent. It's not bad. Not bad. No, it could have been it could be better, but RNG is not on our side. Alright, ready it up. Ready it up. Okay, cool. So if you're wondering why I confirm if I'm ready up to lollipop, sometimes uh on his screen I won't be ready up and therefore the game will not start. Which is kind of annoying. I think it's actually gotten worse with this update because now he has to unready up and then all of a sudden I'm ready up somehow. Which is really confusing. Oh yeah. It can be very annoying at times. Very, very annoying. So, uh, I don't think I finished up with the special zombies. I think I ended on Infector, which can infect you. Uh, beyond that, I think... No, actually, I think I did. No, there's a Screamer. The Screamer can basically attract um, hordes of zombies, which is kind of annoying. And we... He's useful in some areas, but not in New York. Very useless in New York and very uh, annoying. So, in this next room, we're going to hit a switch and then we're going to also uh, have to hit more switches. So, basically, um, there's no switch outside. I think they're both on the right side. So, we're looking for three switches in total. Yeah. So, I have to run to one spot where I know a switch will spawn. Um, fuck me, I got it in the terrible spot, and I got zombies. So, I go over here. So basically, I have to come in here, hit this. What sucks about this is, if I don't get bots that follow me, or I get a lot of zombies, I can get overrun and hurt, and killed, potentially. Which sucks. <sighs> Ugh. 
Yeah. So basically, that's it. Also, I didn't hit that up great. Oh, there's an MGL. Sweet. Uh, I'm a shotgun. Show me this. So you're gonna hear our uh, character say, "Where's the switch?" Uh, the reason why that happened is because we hit the first two switches really fast, and they don't know if we actually hit the switch. So it just kind of bugged, and it's going to be a constant meme throughout this entire level. Plus, plus we have the MGL, so it's not going to be much of a difference at all. Oh, is there? Oh, I'm going to go back and grab that then. If only, if only I got an auto turret. We basically need, uh, uh, we need to save, like, auto turrets and such for the next section, which is going to be over there. Now, you would think that when the train comes by, we can just get on the train and go across the thing. But no, apparently that's just not good enough for the game. It's way too simple. I'm not going to breach. There's no point. I have an auto turret and an MGL. It's basically we're just going to sit here and wait till, uh... Oh, I can't stand. Okay, there we go. Yours is the push buttons. Hey, where's the switch? Uh, I don't know. So, uh, anyway, this next route, uh, this next room, you go down, by the way, I'm, I'm right here. So, basically, this next room, we need to find, uh, on the second level, key cards. Uh, I'm gonna go to one side and cover bodies on one side. Lollipop's gonna go to the other side and cover bodies there. It's completely RNG uh, how many bodies are in what side and what the key card, uh, what body the key card is on. So, um, oh, I got two bodies in here. Cool. Yo, look around for the switch. Come on. Then I have every single one of them. Nope. Oh my god, this is gonna suck. Well, it's gonna be the last cor corpse I search. Oh, no, I got it. Okay, cool. Alright, go down. Actually, we gotta kill that screamer. I got it, I got it, I got it. Never mind, I missed. <laughs> Thanks to Sean, he's dead. So, that actually was really bad RNG. I had all the bodies on my side, and it was the third body I checked. There's no way of knowing what body it's going to be on. This next thing, uh, this next one is the same exact thing, except uh, I'm searching down here. Or right, we're searching down in the gas. On first body luck. Nope. I think I'm going to have it. Yep, I got it. That sucked. All right. Um, yeah, no, it could have been worse. Uh, so basically, that's that room. That was god awful. That's just how bad uh, World War Z RNG can actually be. There's nothing we can do about it. Yeah. Ah, uh, crap. I might actually. There's a chance I can die. Oh, I don't have any sprint. Ow. So, uh, another thing I should mention. Uh, you're going to see me get hit from really far away. This game has desync with off host. And since I am off host, uh, I can get hit from like 10 meters away, which is kind of annoying. I mean, like, kind of annoying. Very fucking annoying. 
There's been times where I would just get, I, I literally just get killed. Uh, why'd I do that? That's fine. Hey, Lurker. I don't know why these characters call him a creeper. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I bit me in. Ooh. But I mean, they have a. Uh, they have. Uh, Bull is a very universal name. <laughs> I think that's the only universal name. And Vector. What is it? It's what? Screamer, Bull, and. Infector that have universal names? I'm correct? Oh, okay. I have another auto turret up here. I did not know that. So if you're wondering why I'm placing auto turrets up here, it may not look important at first, but we have zombies that do spawn behind us. So if I can uh, focus more on the zombies in front of us instead, uh, it just gives me one less of a problem to deal with. Plus, uh, these turrets can kill any screamers that spawn over here. And they're going to do it pre uh, pretty fast because, you know, they're turrets. Yeah, where's the switch? That's if I let you. <laughs> yep. I have. I only have two shotguns up here. I got nothing else like explosive to deal with. Uh. I got bold. So my turrets are also kind of useless at times, and so is this AI. What he just what? So, uh, as you can see, Angel decided that it was, uh, time to just teleport down into the ground where Lollipop was instead of helping me. God, that was... <laughs> that was, what, like a 10-something level? We had some of the worst RNG possible. I just muted myself. <laughs> we, we had some of the worst RNG lo lo uh, possible, and that was like a 10-something level. I ready it up? Okay. So, basically... Yeah. We're gonna do hell and high lollipops. <laughs> Wondering, yes, my splits are a little bit of a meme name, just because why not? Oh, I didn't crash this time. Nice.
I didn't even know. I, I'm surprised it didn't get me. I was ahead of you by like a 10 miles. There's another lurker behind us. Oh wow, this door was open. So normally that door is usually sometimes closed, but on one, like, once in a blue moon it's opened. I have not seen it open, like, in a long time. Yeah, usually I just see you. <laughs> nah, it's definitely, like, closed most of the time. But yeah, like we said, this level basically we just run through. It doesn't... It honestly doesn't matter too much if he's that far behind. Uh, we... Yeah, and we have, like, we're here. Oh, wait, do I have to keep moving up? Um, hello? Did I not trigger it the first time? Okay. Okay, um, so this little, this horde, swarm, whatever, doesn't matter. It's just a timer. We're going to wait for uh, the train to be ready. I got another MJL in here. Yeah, basically, you can basically just double up your weapons while we're here, or while you're here. So that's what I'm doing. We should also mention, the advanced combat weapon, it doesn't spawn in every level. It's kind of random if it spawns or not. Usually, for most levels, it'll be helpful. This level, it doesn't matter. But if you re uh, but, like, we got really lucky in Descent that we had it. It's not going to spawn there every time, which I'm kind of sad about. I, I kind of love that weapon to death. But it is a very useful weapon to have. Even for New York 4, uh, when we had to do a lot of horde killing, uh, and we had to, like, do a lot of uh, other stuff, it'd be very useful. So if we do get it, yay. If not, it's not the end of the world. It's something we can't even control. So fun fact, uh, this train can kill you if you stand in front of it. I have been hit by it once. Technically twice, but I don't count a bull charging me and then me getting hit by the train because of a bull. But one time, because I miscalculated my timing. And you know what? Doing it again. Just go, just go, just there. Uh, yeah, me. So, uh, I've gotten, I've gotten very bad at determining when the train comes, and, uh, yeah, I think my train days are over. It's okay. I need to heal in time. I am going to grab... Yes, indeed. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm here now. Um, that is, what, a classic battle rifle? So yeah, we're not gonna get an advanced combat weapon, I highly doubt. It'll be even in the next, in the last section.
Yeah, there's nothing that we can do to speed any of this up other than just get here faster. Oh no, we're too late. It's no use! Shit. Code Red is never good. Freya who says that, I think that's Angel. Alright, okay, so you can see there's a screamer over here that I'm gonna go fucking murder real quick because I don't like him. Shut up! Uh Do you have an advanced combat weapon? Do you have an advanced combat weapon on you? Alright, making sure, you know. I gotta know when we ha when you have one or when I have one. <laughs> I love this weapon. I look for it everywhere. I don't care if it's gonna kill the run. I'll look for it. The amount of time it saves and the amount of uh, like the amount of time it saves. Oh yeah, the amount of time it saves and how much easier it makes everything is amazing. I also got a shitload of zombies and no AI to help me. Yes. Oh, and we also don't like letting the AI on the boat because we hate them. In fact, I have a thing with Angel. I'm going to go ahead and murder Angel in a little bit. There we go. Angel has got what is coming to him. He he ditched me when I got bullied in episode two or in level two. Yeah, come here, Angel. Come here. So I only have to hit it twice and then I'm good to go, so I don't have to hit it again. I'm not worried about it not happening. So at this point I'm just gonna teabag Angel since he left me with the bull. To Sean, he didn't really have to die. He did come and save me after Angel said screw me. But hey, it's fine. Sorry if you hear my keyboard. Uh, I am literally just going up and down. <laughs> that, that face. <laughs> Angel is big sad. <laughs> Why did you kill me? What did I ever do to you? Shut up, Angel. You fucking suck. Sean, are you big sad? Uh, nah, he's just big. He's... yeah. Uh-oh. 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 So... Go! 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 <laughs> he got me killed. No! Oh. Wait, it's not ending. Okay. Uh, I, I am needed. All right, that was level three. <laughs> so that's what we talked about, about zombies piling up. Yeah. Doesn't help that I kind of killed Angel and Tashawn. Yeah. Uh, sorry, hold on. I had... All right, ready up. So basically, I ready up before I uh, switch. Uh, it's just faster that way. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Now, mind you, like you can only change class in five seconds, but you can come to customize here, and if you are fast enough, you can change your perk if you want. The reason why I'm going for Fixer for this level, Dead in the Water, is because the beginning of this, we uh, we have one of two routes. Both routes are filled with zombies, and if we have a... If we have the masking grenade, which is the fix one of the fix uh, fixers' grenade types, 
uh, we can walk past the zombies without being hit or seen by them, and it just makes it a lot easier. This actually is also used in the uh, Moscow DLC run in Episode 4, but uh, for ne uh, in New York, we just needed to get past some zombies. Otherwise, just no, nothing else. Yeah. But for this for this certain use, we're using it because of the... Uh, well, actually, no. Jerusalem 2 as well. There's a certain use for it there. First, you need to find out which way we're going. Uh, to the right, to the right. You can just go straight down. Actually, that's faster. Uh, yeah, uh... I missed you. I missed you. Yeah, it was right behind me. No, I think the left path... I, I think the left path is a lot faster. Uh, there's no uh, lurker there, right? But uh, the left path is also the most dangerous because we can have a shitload of zombies spawn in like a small area. Uh, we alerted the horde. Yeah, actually, they're behind us, aren't they? I don't have any. I had to. I was going to get lurked if I didn't. I'm just saying that as an excuse. In reality, I threw it trying to throw it at you because you're too far ahead, and I almost got lurked after I threw it. But hey. <laughs> it's a good enough excuse. So yeah, basically that entire section is just running through. There's nothing we can really do. Yeah. Uh, hit this. So unlike uh, New York one, we actually have to hit an elevator button. Don't know why. Uh, high voltage. High voltage. I'm gonna go to the begin battle. Uh, look for the flare gun. I'm going to check up here. Oh, there it is. So what are we need to... F oh, okay. Just take my explanation. The reason why we need it is because we can uh, basically call an airstrike on the zombies. Uh, hopefully I don't screw up the aiming this time, because... Yes, I, I'm getting up high so I can. Oh, apparently that's not too close, but uh, everywhere else is. Yeah, it's because I shot a zombie with it. So basically, the flare gun will mark where the horde is and such. We'll be able to kill them really fast. It's uh, It'll tell me when it's ready to be used again. So we can't use it all the time, which is just sad. Stop shooting! Uh, why did I do that? That's what happens when uh, you use it too early. Because <laughs> you're an idiot and forgot that you had to press 2 to switch to your main gun. This game is very weird. Uh, I got it. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. It's basically... It's basically, uh... Remake, uh, resetting a high voltage grid, which is really weird. Left, left. Uh... 
Um, right. That is not where I aimed. Okay. As you can see, this thing is very inaccurate and very stupid. I do not like this player gun. I pick it up just because, but hey. It's required for the ending. It, it's also required for the, uh... For, like, the last one as well, or the last swarm as well. Hopefully we only have two generators, not three. I'm going to stay... Uh, are you up? Okay, I'm going to go down then. Uh, if wondering, I can also use the masking grenades to... Uh... Sorry, hold on. Yeah, great. Uh, it's number two. It's down. Uh, yeah, basement level. I can basically use the uh, masking grenades to protect me in here, because there will be swarms of zombies that just come in, like here. So just walk through them real quick. There's a bull. Okay. And that makes that a lot easier. Hopefully, there might be one more, so hold on. At this point, we should have killed him. Take that, actually. Grab this up. Uh, I'm coming. I got a little behind. So I'm going to mark that there because they're going to sp uh, mainly drop there anyway. See, I don't understand this. It shoots from a weird way and I don't... I, it, it's just... This is really bad. So also, fun fact, you can go left side gun on this. Uh, it's actually pretty useful if I'm going to stand here and shoot. Oh, that's a bomber. We forgot to talk about the bombers. Bombers uh, are zombies that explode. They're not really that important, and I don't usually remember them much. Yeah. Uh, Screamer, I got it. I got it. Also, yeah, I'm staying left side gun because it's totally a lot faster uh, to aim around the left corners. Oh, third one. Up here, though. And, nope, downstairs. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Ah, I tried to hit you with that. Uh, and then in front, yeah. So this is the last one. Looking for a flare. Um, there's really nothing I can really put the flare at right now, so I'm going to save it and wait until they get closer. I don't really have a good angle. All right. So apparently I can't shoot it in. Okay, cool. This game is really weird sometimes. Anyway. So yeah, this is the last sword. Uh, we're just basically waiting for them. To, I, it's either I have to shoot a flare over there, or I believe they just come in. But I think I just have to shoot a flare. Uh, I need ammo. I forget where the ammo is. There's an infector to our right. Why did I do that? I need ammo. I will. Um, still waiting. Which is right back here. 
Probably should have been here earlier, but it's fine. And that's the run. <laughs> We're going home. Oh, yeah. Yep. <laughs> See you guys.